What's up, my pal? It's Angry Punch here. We're back playing Pokemon White. Uh, as we finished, yes, there it is. As we finished the last episode, I was in search of a Pokemon Center, having just done some work down in cold storage. You guys told me I missed a couple things down there, so we're gonna go back and visit cold storage, and then we're going to go and see if we can take on the gym. Supposedly, with what we did in cold storage last time, we are now able to go and challenge the gym. Our the gym leader, I believe his name was Clay gave us permission to come fight the gym, which I always thought was kind of a dick move, let's be honest. A gym leader that makes you do something for them before they let you challenge their gym is just sort of irritating. Oh, hello! Workers carry Pokemon in loads. I'm a youngster. I'm close to my Pokemon. What? Were those... What, was that related at all? That is strange, my friend. Wow, Kenneth, and he's got an orange shirt on. Is that a coincidence? I think not. World of peace. Still haven't figured out what type this Pokemon is. T. Alright, let's see. Uh, what do we want here? I guess we'll just do uproar. Whatevs. Protect! Haha! -ha! I'm already in a cyclical move. I'm just gonna hit you on the next turn. Oh no! Oh, it failed! Interesting, I didn't know that. I figured it would just cause an uproar and not do damage and then try again on the next turn with the uproar again. Who knows? We're an uproar! We're wiggling! We're nuts! <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And I'm still making an uproar. Car, car, a blast. Yeah, sure, why not? What the heck is that thing? <laughs> we used uproar. Looks like a water type, maybe. Use headbutt. It looks like a turtle, sort of, but it's got like a wrench on its head or something. A little bit strange. Let's see what Mudshot does. Half damage. Hmm. Well, it's not just a water type then. Or wait, did... yeah, I think ground does single damage to water, so it's not just a water type. It has another type on there. I'm not sure. Maybe rock? Not... No, not rock. Ground wouldn't have done. I have no idea. Hmm. Oh, another youngster. Hello. My dad's working in a gym. Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course I caught the Mew. My dad works for Nintendo. He told me how. It's just under the truck by the dock. Chultic! Oh, look at that thing. It's adorable. Oh, it's all jittery. Unnerve. The team is too nervous to eat berries! Oh no! Scary spider. Oh, it's, so, it's got four eyes. I kind of like that Pokemon. Let's see. What else? What do I want to use? Looks like an electric Pokemon because it's yellow, but based on the name, I'd have to guess bug type, too. Like tick? I can, and it does look like a bug. Anyway, okay, so what do I want to use? I guess water works fine. Yep, there we go. Quite successful. Oh, level 33. Nice. I have no idea when Pop Toad evolves. I'm a little bit worried about it, actually, because I don't know if it'll be as wiggly after he evolves. Or she, excuse me. She may be deleted in a place with Rain Dance. Yeah, I'll have a look. I think it just ups the power. Yeah, is it like one and a half times as much damage, I think? I'm not sure it's worth it. Hmm. What else does Rain Dance do? I know it has other effects. Like, can you not use Solar Beam while Rain Dance is in effect, or something like that? I know Sunny Day makes Solar Beam go off in one turn, but... Huh. Not sure. Honestly, with how little I use Supersonic, I'm gonna go ahead and swap Rain Dance out. And maybe I can turn Palpatine into, like, a, a Water-type Sweeper. Just go nuts with Rain Dance. If you use Rain Dance twice, will it increase the power? I don't think so. Maybe I'll just switch. Uh, we'll just keep Palpatine out there. Why not? Let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll go ground type this time. I mean, it's rock and bug, right? <laughs> Duel is so adorable. Sturdy! Endured the hit! You tell him, Dwebble. Show me how it's done. I like that Pokemon. It's like it's just a hermit crab. It's a, it's a neat concept for a Pokemon. They haven't had a they haven't had a hermit crab yet in previous generations. I mean, they've had crabs, but not hermit crab style crabs. No, like, well, actually, no. No, we had Cloyster. It looked a little bit... Or, sh like, shell... Well, no. Cloyster didn't really look like a hermit crab. It looked more like a bivalve. Alright, oh, hello. For a few loads, send it by Pokemon. For lots of loads, send it by ship. Use the Beth method for your needs. Okay. It's instructional. Oh, let me turn the dousing machine on. Maybe there's a hidden item down here. 
Yeah, I thought so. In this crack here. Burp. Right here. We got a hyper potion. Sweet. Any more? Nope. Alright. Oh, hello. Down down there, I bet. Okay. I'll go around. Oh, hello. Can I get in down here? Excuse me! A helmet is an important tool for shock protection. It's gonna let your Pokemon have one. It's good to let your Pokemon have one too. Sweet! Rocky helmet, I've heard about this item. You let a Pokemon hold it, the foe will also be damaged if that foe's move makes physical contact. Yeah, it's like having the rough skin ability without actually having to have the rough skin. Yeah, it's down here to the right, I think you guys told me to look. Here we go. Found an ether. Sweet. Keep running around. Oh! I think you guys said I could catch ice type Pokemon out here too. <gasps> it's Mangino! Adorable. I'm not gonna catch one though. I looked up Mangino's stats online, I was just curious. And it's sort of a lame. Not very powerful. Oh, here we go, here we go. Now we're getting our. Oh, right, that was right underneath us, I see. We got a dive wall, okay. What about over this? Hello! Wild Pokemans! Oh, we're getting wild herdier. Interesting. First time we've seen one of those, right? Pretty sure. And we'll get away safely. Let's go have a look at this Pokeball. Got a protein! Protein! Anything else down here? I can fight you. Do, 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 do. The pure chill of cold storage. Taste how cold it is! I guess he has ice type Pokemon. I wonder if this gym trainer will be an ice type trainer. I'm kind of betting on it, actually. That's a grass type. What are you doing? This is so weird. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just use uproar. I don't know if he'll even survive the first turn, so. Lost an uproar! Yeah, it did. Seed bomb! Reminds me of egg bomb. Oh, crap! Whoa. I nod to you, good sir. Took out my palpitoad. Grass type. I don't want to use a rock type move. Let's just use Dragon Breath. Why not? Sweet. That looks pretty legit. I like the way that Dragon Breath animation looks. Send in Timber. Will you switch? Nope. As you guys told me that the flying type takes half damage from fighting, and so our Archon's not actually weak to fight. So thanks for that uh, clue in. Haha. <laughs> Love the super effective stuff. It's so great. Alright, that's it. Chili, I feel the shiver pass along my spine. Sure you do. Alright, that's it for now, I guess. Except for random battles. More herdier. Lame. Not really interested in fighting more herdier. Herdier, like herdier. Let's go back up to the top part of town. I'm ready to take on the gym leader now. Oh, shaking grass, shaking grass. What do we got? What do we got? <gasps> it's one of those. It's an Augie. No! Level 21. Oh yeah, Archon. You ready for you ready for some experience, man? You ready for some experience? I'm ready for some experience. Let's use Agent Power. Bam! And it failed refreshments. Okay. I want some pluck. Kerpluck? Nice! Took you out. Too much. Stolen ate the Ranberry! Hell yes! Now you got a thousand experience. Sweet! Nice. Not as much as I would have expected from an Audino, but whatever. I haven't seen many other uh, Shaken Grass Pokemon either. But hopefully I uh, haven't been missing anything too exciting. Can't go over there still, I guess. Alright, let's see... Let's see about a Pokemon Center and then about a gym, shall we? I'm trying to think which of my Pokemon is going to be effective against an Ice-type gym. And I can't... I can't think of any. Um, uh, I don't know how I'm going to play this one. I, I mean, my default option is Palpitoad, and I'm trying to think what ice does to water and ground. And I have no knowledge of those interactions. I cannot remember. I guess we'll find out. Alright, where's the gym? Up north? Here's a tall area. Is this the gym up here? Doesn't look like it. It looks like school. Or a house? What is this? Do you think all people in the world can understand one another? Sure, why not? Okay. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> I'm leaving now. I don't know why that house up on the hill is just chilling out by itself up there, but okay. There's a big building. This is the farmer's market. Oh, you guys told me to check this out so I could buy. Oh, hello. 
Secret items, secret items. Oh. Got a heart scale! What the heck is that? Put it in the thing. Let's see what it does. Where does it go? A pretty heart-shaped scale that's extremely rare it grows faintly in the colors of the rainbow. I guess that means that it's... You can sell it for a lot of money. So somebody in here supposedly sells me... Right, Charles guy bought everything I had. Hmm, okay. How about you? Welcome, this is straight from the farm. Moo Moo Milk! Sweet! You guys told me, whoops, how many did I just buy? I got a Moo Moo Milk. Sweet. I actually wanted to buy more. Wow, look at all the money we have. Holy crap. Alright, let's buy... A dozen! A dozen?! <laughs> Twice as many! Twice as many? Twice as many?! <laughs> You guys told me that the Moo Moo Milk is awesome because it does twice the healing of a super potion. And it's the same price! Which is pretty awesome. Ah, back doors. I like this. Alright, where's the gym? Getting a little perplexed here. Some guy training by the shore. Can you fight me? The reason I'm hanging around is because I want to hang around. Oh, my Pokemon just need to move. Sir, if I could go on top of the water. Uh, oh, hello. Something's happening up there. I see Sharon and some Team Plasma people. Let's go bug them. What a bother. Clay, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Getsus of Team Plasma. I've come to pick up my associates who are in your care. I don't need no thanks now. Your buddies were trying to steal some folks' Pokemon. What's this? It seems as if there's been some misunderstanding. We only free Pokemon from wicked people. Well, that sounds real nice if it's true. I may not talk, pretty. <laughs> that is an understatement, but at least I'm an honest man. You talk real nice, but what you're saying kind of sounds like lying. So tell me plain, what are you trying to say? Team Plasma also has an interest in Driftvale City, and we have many, many more members besides those who are here. Well, I can't tell if you're lying or not, but I reckon you've won this one without a fight. Hmm, fine, take him and get. A decision worthy of a businessman called the Miner King. Your grasp of the situation is outstanding. Well then, we'll be taking our colleagues off your hands. Gets this. Thank you very much. I'm a wimp. I couldn't fight them on my own. Don't worry, my fellow servant. Or sorry. <clears throat> Don't worry, my fellow servant of the king. We are two of the seven sages, are we not? Well then, everyone, I expect that we will meet again somewhere. Dun dun dun. Sorry, let Team Plasma go after you tracked him down, fellas. Say, why don't we cheer ourselves up with a Pokemon battle? Don't keep me waiting. All right, we'll do. Well, we avoided a fight in the middle of the city, anyway. Still, I can't help but think Cassis isn't just an ordinary per- Really? Really? Ah, oh. Actually, I'm gonna win my gym badge in a flawless victory! Okay. Ah. Looks like an ice type gym. Oh, yeah. How are we gonna handle this? I don't know what to- Hello, what is going on here? Welcome to the Drift Bell Pokemon Gym. In this gym, elevators are provided for your use. Thanks. Alright, give me your water. Thank you. Alright. I did heal up, right? Uses ground type. What? 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 I, what? This, that doesn't make any sense. Why? What? The guy that's in charge of the bridge and lives in the town with cold storage is a ground type trainer? Like, what? This is out of left field. I'm totally... Look at... No, no. This is dumb. Look at the gym. Look at the building! It's like, it's got freaking icicles on top! What, what is this? Is this... Is there a story behind this? Like, that he was gonna be an ice-type gym and they realized they only had one ice-type Pokemon in the game or something? Like, I don't get it. That's really strange. I'm totally... I guess that's why they call him the Miner King? Is that what we're supposed to get from that previous talk? Alright, very weird, but it means that I know exactly how I'm gonna handle this gym. So, <laughs> you know, muddy water all the way. Over and over... Oh, I see, it's one of these... Oh man, I don't have the HM to remove traffic cones! <laughs> I guess I have to pitch out on you so I can get to that button over there. Okay, Challenger, bring it on! Well, good! Oh, see, I like this guy. He gets straight to the point. Doesn't putz around. You're challenged by Worker Felix. Bopitoad! I guess that counts as a ground type Pokemon, although well, it's, it's not what I was expecting. I'm accepting a Sandile or a Croconock or whatever his long form is. Muddy water it is. So here's a good opportunity for Rain Dance. I might use Rain Dance for. Oh, I didn't even need a sand! <laughs> yes! 
<laughs> That's awesome, man! I hope you guys didn't miss that. That was amazing. You should go back and watch it again if you missed. Ah, sorry, my throat's a little bit dry today. My allergies are acting up and it makes my sinuses hurt. I guess Muddy Water's not actually going to do much to Pelpa Toad. It'll do single times damage. Wow! Critical hit! That helps. <laughs> Shaking his head as he faints. Archon gets some experience. Sweet! Level 32. You gotta love it. How to send in Drill Burr. Will you switch your Pokemon? Nope. We haven't had a chance to catch one of these yet, have we? Pure, one of the, this is one of the Pokemon that was suggested I should use at the beginning of the game. I never did. I never decided to take it because I ended up having Pelpa Toad as my ground type, so... Toning its oh, excuse me, it's toning its claws. Okay, accuracy and attack. Alright, that makes sense. Oh, sweet. Yeah, this is gonna be an easy gym, I can tell. If I can just use muddy water on every trainer, that's not gonna be much of a challenge at all, really. Oh! No final text for me? Alright, fine. Now what do I do? It's kind of a weird gym. Alright, I guess I have to go back up, and then... I can't get over here because your things in the what the heck am what? No, that doesn't make sense. What? I have to fight this guy? Maybe I just went in the wrong direction. When the elevator goes up, my spirits rise. When the elevator goes down, my spirits fall. Do you want to know why Clay is at the bottom? Defeat me. Alright. I'll let you okay, so he's at the bottom, and I should keep that in mind. Challenge my workers. Sterling! There's the sand I was expecting. Palpatoe will have no trouble with this. So based on the level of these Gym Trainers Pokémon, I'm betting that uh, the, that Clay is going to have level 30s or better, which is good. It means we're finally not overleveled. Which is a... Uh, I think that... And then you guys told me after the fifth Gym is when I can start picking up some more of the Pokémon I'm looking to have in my party. And so I'm sort of excited now because we're, we're almost at the point in the game, I think in... I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. I, I have no idea. I don't know anything about the future of this game, besides that after the fifth gym, I, you guys told me I could get another Pokemon before. So hopefully in like two episodes we'll have four out of our six, rather than just two. We'll be able to start spreading our party out a little bit more. That was easy. There go my spirits all the way down. <laughs> and you died. I guess we're going back down here. I don't know what's going on. Maybe... Ah, oh, so strange. Okay, maybe this blue traffic cone does something? This is Wild guessing, but no, it doesn't do anything. All right, well, I can't go up again, can I? Get over there, can't go any higher. <laughs> Come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> oh, here we go. I can sneak around on these. Oh, that's tricky. Hey, all right, I see what I'm doing now. I got it. I face my Pokemon, and we share our real feelings. We cry together. Yep. How many times has Ash cried with his Pikachu? I can't... Uh, I can't think of any right off the top of my head, but I'm sure there are at least a few times in the anime. Somebody will know. Croc... 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 Rock. Croc, croc well, there's one reason not to use, a, use that Pokemon. I can't pronounce its name. Croc... Croc... Rock. <laughs> croc... 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 <laughs> can't use items. I don't even care. Bam! Oh, I love that. What a knockout. So much fun. Get some experience. Alright, sweet. He only had that one Pokemon. That's the first Crocorock we've seen, isn't it? Except for the one that was outside of battle. And now we go. Ah, choices. Okay, uh, well, going back up that way wouldn't add anything, so I'll have to take this one, I suppose. Wait a minute. Shoot. I think I may have gone the wrong way there. I, I might have should have... Yeah, I think I should have gone up on the other gym, and then down in the middle top one, right? Oops, okay. Whatever, I'll, I'll get it. No trainer here is out of... Is out of <laughs> Just read the text, Poncho! <laughs> I love the overly busy clerk with his briefcase and his phone and his Pokeball, trying to do everything at once. Sandai looks so adorable compared to its evolved form that actually looks evil, like it's like the dark types are supposed to. If they're not supposed to look necessarily evil, but at least a little bit sinister, you know? Like they have a darker side to them, you know, clearly from the name. Sandile is still too young, it's just sort of too adorable to be Palpatode. You know what? 
Let's go nuts, shall we? Yes! Ha 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 ha! And no, I didn't send him out just so I could make that sound. I want to see the E and the Wiggle Pokemon on the screen at the same time. <laughs> yes! It's wonderful. Ooh, he's uproaring it. Ouch! Good thing I get four times damage. Sweet! <laughs> they faint while he's doing the wiggle animation. He looks way too happy about fainting. Sandile. That's actually a ground type. Eh, we'll keep it. Why not? Certainly I'll have some fun. He's been in his Pokeball too much lately. Meow, 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 meow. This is sort of silly, but I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm liking a change of pace. Oh, I missed. It's not gonna do much, isn't it? No. Mud Slap. That only does like 20 damage anyway, right? Such a worthless move. Oh, I missed again, man! Got another embargo. I guess he's just trying to do the debuff strategy. Mud Slap to lower my accuracy and embargo to keep me from using items, but... Oh, didn't finish him off in one hit. Swagga Swagga! So it raises my attack and confuses me, right? I remember this. Alright, let's try Mind Whip. Whatcha? And I missed. Crap! Huh, he doesn't have very many moves, does he? He's got... I've seen all four. He's got Assurance, Embargo, Mud Slap, and Swagger. Not a very good move side, I must say. 25. Oh yeah, Arkin got some experience too. Alrighty! Oh no, I found someone who's out of my league. <laughs> oh, you mean Pokemon League? Let me go back down. This was the wrong way. I'm bringing you with me! Should have gone up here. And then I think I can go up again. Yeah, sweet. No, how do I get? Oh yeah, up here. Sweet. All right, all right. Let me check my Pokemon real fast. How, where are we standing? Palpito can handle another battle, I think. You know, I could use I could use Archon right from the start because Archon's flying type, and so he's going to be immune to any uh, ground type moves that come at us. So this should this should work out. Clay's at the bottom of the gym, but I will test you to see whether you are skilled enough to face the gym leader. Wah! Sure you will. Oh, you dropped your Pokeball! Come on, Clerk Katie. Get it together. Another Thrillmer! So, I gotta try and guess. What, what, what Pokemon is Clay gonna have? Not the ones we've seen. I'm betting a Crocorock. And maybe the evolved form of Drillmer, if that happens at... Oh, Pokemon I can tell that. If that happens somewhere around level 30 or 33, maybe they'll have the evolved form of Drillbur. Let's try Pluck. Single times damage. I guess flying is immune to ground, but does flying do more to damage to ground types? I'm not sure, actually. I thought it did, but it doesn't matter if I'm immune to it, so... It's just as good. Ah, oh, so frustrating! Yeah, you're not skilled enough, you just did Hone Claws twice when you knew you were gonna lose. I started Pokemon Pals after I grew up. <laughs> but I got so into it! Ah, oh, if, if only I had the ability to remove traffic cones. Alright, so I think we're low on power points for Palpatode. Let me see, I only got two Muddy Waters left. Ha <laughs> ha, we led! So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try and just marathon it. Let's heal up a little bit here. What in the world? Where are my where are my items, man? Here we go. Use that fresh water. Palpatode. And then I'm gonna switch Palpatode. Use your less fresh water. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna use a Moo Moo Milk on Servine, just in the rare happenstance that I decided to use Surf Servine. So let me switch first of all. Actually, let's lead with Archon. Why not? I think he might lead with a Croconok. That would make sense for him to lead with a pure ground type. Or ground and dark rather than ground and water. Whoa! Holy crap! That's, um... That's quite a long way. That's, that seems almost... That seems very dangerous. I gotta say, though, this is a, an imposing place to put your gym. I like that. I also like the rocks on the treadmills going by on the sides. That's really cool. Oh, I can't get behind this gym leader. Alright, Clay, you've impressed me. Let's battle. Well, I think it's about time to see for myself what it is about your skills that made a gym leader like Elisa take such a shine to you. Let's do this. 
he looks so disapproving. He's got like the one. He's got, he's got like the uh, Ron Swanson face on. Just like <laughs> Peter Clay. Did I call it right? Yes, Crocker Rock. I knew it. All right. Gonna go straight for the uh, flying type moves. My controller died again. Stop doing that. Crazy controller. It doesn't like run out of batteries. It just turns itself off for some reason. Pluck, pluck, pluck. Swagger's not going to pay off when I pluck him to death on the next turn. My attack will be sharply higher. I'll be. I didn't see that coming. What? A, a flying type? Honestly? Ugh. If you didn't see that coming, you don't deserve to be a gym leader, man. And Swagger backfires like usual. I never really liked that move. There's so many good moves that confuse the opponent without raising their attack that Swagger just doesn't stand out. Send in Palpito. Will you switch your Pokemon? Yeah, I'm gonna switch to Servine actually, just for the four times damage. Even though it's at a lower level, I, I bet it can still pull it off. <laughs> Palpitoed it is. Let's try some Leaf Tornado. Oh, we missed with Muddy Water! That's gonna be a critical miss. And it was. Wow. That Muddy Water may have done some damage to me. I don't think it would have killed me though if it's some grass type, but wow. That was a critical miss as far as Clay is concerned at this point. Send in Excadrill. I knew it! The Evolve Former Drill Bird. That's why I'm not skipping text. My controller's dead. Yep, I'm gonna switch to, um. Let's just do the Pobble Toad. This will be fun. We'll change from one Pokemon, one on one on one. Have a good time with this. Wow, that thing looks nasty. Giving up's the easy way out. If I wanted, I could have given up any old time. Really now. Makes sense. Extra dull used home gloss. Hey, we're both buffing ourselves. I'm using rain dance. Raise the power of my muddy water attack. It started to rain. He's still honing his claws. I guess he thinks he can withstand this blow. We'll see. Success! And Clay was defeated. God, it just it feels so epic. In, in the literal sense of the word, that was awesome. Well, I've had enough. And just so you know, I didn't go easy on you. Oh, well, good. I didn't think you were, but wow, that was... That was satisfying. A satisfying victory. Huh, I see. But I sure don't like it. For such a young'un, you have an imposing battle style. I know you got people who can dig up your potential. <laughs> Take this! You got the gym badge! What is that supposed to be? Like a core sample of a rock or something? Looks interesting. Bam! Got it! Maybe we'll receive the Quake Blast badge. Blah, blah. So this is your fifth badge, huh? If that's so, Pokemon up to level 60 will obey you. Also, I'll give you this TM. Well, that was the plan, but I just remembered it's something I want. Wait in front of the cave at the end of Route 6, would you? No. Oh, what?! I have to fulfill your tasks in order to challenge your gym, and I have to fulfill your tasks in order to... T tell me this takes me to the exit, right? I don't actually have to maneuver through these platforms again, do I? Or maybe the exit's actually right here, actually. The traffic cone's gone. Thank you. Well done. Alright, well, awesome. That is... <laughs> my controller's dead again. That That is it for... Uh, that is it for this battle. This battle, yes. And this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon White, we're going to head out on the Route 6, meet Clay wherever it is he wants us to meet us. Hopefully we get a nice TM from him, and then hit on and try and find some more Pokemon for our party. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.